that, so welcome to the pump house. So this pump house was built in 1877, and uh, this room here originally had four large Lancashire boilers in it, and they'd run three of those boilers at any one time to power the beam engine next door. And that beam engine actually pumped water out of Western Springs, and that supplied water for the whole of Auckland. Yeah. And that's from um, 1879 through to 1928. 28. Yeah. And then what happened after that? At that, that point, um, Auckland had grown, so their water needs had got bigger. And also, there's a lot of building going on around the, the lake area, and so the water quality had dropped. Oh, right. So then they decided they'd start using the dam water. Dam water, yeah. Yeah, so the site actually just used, was used for storage for a number of years, and then became the museum in 1964. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. That was one of the original boilers, the black one no, right over there. No, it wasn't. The original ones were twice the size of that. that one twice there, the size. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That one there was made in um, 1957. And actually came out of a wood yard oh. um, in Tauranga. Wow. So that was um, all their equipment back then. It was originally oil fired, and we converted it to run on coal. The yes. Museum. And that's the power of this new engine. So the, the engine at the back is a triple expansion engine, and that came out of a ferry. Called the Great Boat. It used to go across the Sydney Harbour. Oh, yeah. Uh, from 1910 until 1928, which point it was in an accident with another ship. It was actually a New Zealand ship that hit it. And that engine sat on the bottom of the harbour for about a month or two. Uh -huh. and then they retrieved it and it disappeared for a number of years and then reappeared in a dairy factory. Oh. T Rail, yeah. So it ran near into the 60s, and when they finished it, they donated it to Mopac. Oh. So, and this one here was in the woodyard, the tangy. Um, that was just in uh, Morningside, and um, that was running right up until 1977. And this would have had a belt running shaft going up to the ceiling, and yes. they would have had a long shaft running the length of the factory. They just dropped the back to, uh, a belt off wherever they need to run a machine. Oh. That would have been like um, fan saws and rotary saws and that sort of stuff. Um, Thank you very much. Compared to the um, expansion, this one's quite inefficient. The oh, only yeah. use is the one. Oh yeah. With that one, as its name would suggest, the, the steam expands three times. It initially goes into a high pressure cylinder, and then when it's finished using it in that cylinder, it actually transfers into an intermediate pressure cylinder it's used again oh. and then finally transfers into the low pressure cylinder. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's very efficient. Oh, that's why it's called triple expansion. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. Amazing. So oh, hopefully that's uh yeah. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.